state your reasons for applying for the superintendent to our district? Sure. Uh, I feel that I've been intentionally planning and preparing for this position. Uh, throughout my career um, here at, uh, or at Big Rapids, uh, I have noticed there's been some, uh, obviously some struggles with the budget and struggles in Michigan and, and struggles with our district with budget matters. And, and I feel like I really want to be a part of the solution. I feel that I've been a part of, of the solution for our, for our district, but I would like a chance to show that my ideas and how I feel about the district and my leadership uh, ways for this district. Um, I've been a good soldier. I've been, I've been a frontline administrator at central office, and uh, I, I, I believe I've been, um, I've touched a lot of different aspects of this district, uh, from boilers to um, volleyball to uh, human resources and negotiations and, and uh, our, our teachers and our, our peer pros and uh, I've evaluated both of them and I still evaluate uh, at central office. Um, you know, not only do I feel like I know what the district is about with the things that I'm involved in, and that I've intentionally become involved in. I've taken on these, these different things with open arms. And I, I've learned about grounds and, and, like I said, boilers, which I never thought I'd ever learn about boilers, but you know, our main supervisor kind of took me through the whole thing. So I do know a little bit. Um, but food service inspections, uh, uh, again, evaluations, Title I, budgeting, you know, over $800,000 budget in Title I, 31A at risk amount. And not only do I know that, but I feel like I know the people behind all of that. And, and sometimes that can be to, to an advantage, and, and sometimes that might not be to an advantage, but um, I'm sure uh, I'll be addressing that later on, but I'll touch on it a little bit. You know, you, you sometimes when you're in a district, people can feel like it's just going to be, and if in a central office, a continuation of the leadership that exists. And um, the superintendent and I, we, we work well together, yes. But my ideas and my style of leadership it is different than his. And uh, uh, I, I, I want to use we a lot more than us and them. Uh, I, think that, I think that's a really important thing here. Um, a part of the community, uh, I have been involved from the community from, from day one. Uh, leadership across the alumni. I, I chair the expo for the chamber. Um, I'm Friends of Ferris, the board of directors of Friends of Ferris. Um, uh, Rotary, I'm involved in Rotary. And uh, the town gown that I go to four times. So there, there are a lot of things that connect me here. And, and I care about it. I'm a stakeholder, and I, I really care about it. So those are a lot of reasons why I want to be the superintendent here at Big Red. I have been a teacher. Uh, I have been a principal. Uh, I've been a coach. Um, uh, and then I moved to central office uh, administration. And uh, under these auspices, um, I'm a HR director, I am the curriculum director, um, the elementary special ed director, um, assessment coordinator, uh, Title I director. So underneath um, those directorships, uh, that's, those are kind of all of my job duties. I oversee um, the, the maintenance and custodial programs as well as um, the departments, the food department, and the transportation department. And my schooling, um, I uh, have I started out with my undergrad uh, at Saginaw Valley uh, State University. I had a bachelor's in elementary education. Uh, from there, I wanted to make myself a little more marketable, so um, we have moved north here to Big Rapids, and I went to Ferris State University and received my endorsement in um, language arts. So now. Uh, my cer certification reads language arts also K through 12. And um, 
again, trying to um, plan intentionally for the superintendency someday. I went to get my uh, administrative uh, masters uh, in community leadership and educational leadership. And uh, from there, uh, last year, I received my endorsement, uh, my superintendent's endorsement. So that's, okay. that's as far as, that's uh, the past coming up until now. My husband, Jeff, is a taxidermist and owns his own business in the area. Um, and uh, my daughter uh, went to school and graduated from Big Rapids Public School, Carly, and she uh, now goes to Adrian College studying art therapy and playing basketball. Uh, she's going to be a sophomore next year. I have a son who's a freshman, finishing out his freshman year here at Big Rapids High School and is going to be a sophomore, so I'll have two sophomores uh, here at Big Rapids. And um, we love Big Rapids because of the community. It, it, so incredibly welcoming. Uh, I came here to work eight years ago and um, I, I think every group has embraced uh, my family, myself, um, as well as the school community. Uh, my children, I can talk on behalf of my, behalf of my daughter, have had a wonderful educational experience. The, the staff and the teaching staff, and the, the transport, the bus drivers, the custodians, the food service. I mean, everybody um, is so caring. They're all so caring. And, um, and I think that is really what attracts us here and keeps us here, and that's why I would like to um, stay in Big Rapids. I really believe that communication is my greatest strength. Um, I, I enjoy being out into the community. I enjoy being in the buildings. I'm, I'm almost in every building every day now with, with the position that I hold. And um, I enjoy listening to, to all staff members and to community members and, and chatting with them about, about the school. Um, and, and thinking about the, the school being an organ of the community and, and how they're so interchangeable. Um, th that's, that, I think that would be where my leadership style would, would um, shine.